So now we're going to have a look at an overload. Okay, so overload in attack 3v2 fantastic. So this is how we're going to work it out. You'll see the setup here. We've got the, the big goal now and we're going to have Jack and Charlie rotating in goal. We've got two target goals here and you'll see your setup here. The orange cones are, are your width but then the, the, the discs then turn into yellow. That yellow is this line here and you've got to break this line so watch carefully. Reds are defenders. They're going to play a pass into a blue, into here. Then you've got your three attackers. Your aim is obviously to score in the goal. As soon as whoever's got the ball or the ball breaks, so the ball breaks over that line, you're going to come out and press. One of these two recovery defenders can come in and recover. But if you're all going to stand on this line here, that means when you receive the ball, you're going to be going straight away and he can recover. If you take yourself a yard back, take yourself a yard back, gives you a little bit more time to play with with him and these. Ready? Play. Wait, now you can. Good. Come on, Dan Jones. When you're ready. Got to be a bit more clinical. Orange, just think of your runs to create space. They're not going to be straight lines. We did a 3v2 scenario. With that, we're looking at can the boys actually realise and their decision making that actually we've got an overload here. Can we exploit the extra man, exploit the space and, and drive into it? We're not closing them down quick enough. So now your challenge is to stop them from having long shots by getting out quicker. Now, if they come out quicker, that would mean there's more space where? Fantastic behind them. So now our passes might break the lines. Joel, you might pass to break the lines with those clever diagonal runs. Don't run straight lines, but try and stop those shots, Greens, Callum, because that's the danger. Play. Don't run straight lines. Be clever, Rudy. A little bit ambitious for me, Dan Jones. You had good movement in front of you as well. Concentrate on it, Rudy. Better, well done. Good spot, Dan, unlucky. Good spot. A few things. First off, make sure that you go at pace. Now, we've realised that there in there, because if we break this yellow line here and allow the recovery defender to get back, then we're playing 3v3. If we can go at pace and we do break the line, we've got 3v2. We've got an overload. We should be able to work some sort of opportunity. 